Okay, it's part four on this uh, Ford Galaxy alternator replacement. Now, the reason the jack is down there is I dropped my wrench, my 13 mil wrench down in there, and there's like a plastic thing down there. So I got underneath and was looking around how am I going to get it off. Then I suddenly saw a spot where I could take my magnet and I could sneak it in there behind the underneath it, and I grabbed the wrench with my with my extended magnet. And it would probably be even easier if you couldn't get it with your magnet to to take that wheel off and then look around you might be able to get to it from that side i thought i dropped a nut down there but i found it so now getting back to this tensioner which is where we left off the alternator's in and i've got the tensioner thing on there and i struggled like hell to it just wasn't going to work i wasn't going to get it the way i was trying to do it i was trying to put tension on the the uh, the arm the, you know the wheel itself and then slide both screws in place but it wasn't so what i did was a minute ago i I was pretty close, and I thought, well, I'll just bump the engine over once, and it bumped it over, and it and it, it came completely off. So that's, in a way, said, okay, this is what you got to do. So I've got a little piece of wire down here that's going to pull that plastic down so you can... Well, there's a bit of wire there that's going to pull it down. Let's get the right light on there. There's some wire down here, so I can pull this belt down. Then there's the idler arm right there. So now one, what's, what you can do is you can take take your vice grips and there's a little knob on top of that. You see that knob? So you put your vice grips on there and you can, you can move the arm. See it moving? Okay, but the belt's got to be down because you can go so far then you're going to hit, hit something up here. But I think that's the ticket now. You're just going to put that thing on in the sort of not in the on position, and then you're going to raise that up and slide the you know, slide it onto the belt that way. I don't see any other way to do it. So I got all three of those screws in. Now one other thing is you got to be careful if you're trying to go at one of these and it's awkward. This is aluminum, aluminium in this country, and you could strip those threads really easy in there. So you got to be thoughtful about that. But basically, you're going to put that arm on and then manipulate it stick like a, a screwdriver or something down in there to hold that belt down but nothing sharp that's going to puncture nothing sharp that's going to puncture the the belt and you just got to wiggle that baby in there somehow get it on that on that where it's supposed to be and then uh oh bob will be your uncle again as they say so you got to just persevere and that's what i'm going to do persevere some more right now and see if i can't get it 